Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. My name is Magikev and this is going to be a building walkthrough slash speed build for this here large and small um, animal shelter that I used in my mission zoo. So to start, uh, these are all the pieces and colors that I used and you can use too to make something similar. The large keeper hut the Planet Zoo square beams, mud wall pieces in the color E1D3C0, the concrete wall floor, the Planet Zoo exterior air conditioner, the Australian wall light, the Planet Zoo exterior outlet, the small rusted metal rod, the Australian fence 1, metal beams and metal beam junctions from the Australia pack in the color 164D22, corrugated iron wall pieces in the color B69887, the Planet Zoo brace anchor, the New World fence number three post, New World architecture beams and girders in the color 59876E, uh, the one meter plaster pillar in its original color, the metal clad roof in the color 6A5D53, and the terracotta tile roof pieces. So if you're not familiar with the zoo that this shelter was made for, um, that being the Mission Zoo, then I have the zoo set in California, so I wanted the shelter to reflect that sort of arid environment with like washed out colors and a mission style keeper hut on the side. And I wanted it to be pretty like utilitarian looking. So I chose a lot of the new metal pieces from the Australia pack to make it look sort of like a basic prefab building that you might just kind of see like in someone's backyard or like a, an industrial property somewhere where you might keep like a tractor or a boat or something in it. Like nothing fancy, just like a cheap metal building. In my zoo, this shelter serves as a giraffe and warthog shelter, but it would work for any combination of large and small animals, um, especially the African ones. And if you want to download this shelter, it's on the Steam Workshop. Just look for Magikev. And if you do, I hope you enjoy it. But one last thing that I want to say is that once I had it in game, once I had the shelter in game, I had to do some edits to the door and add a door to the back. Uh, the door modification on the front was because the giraffes couldn't pass through a one tile wide door, so I had to make it two tiles wide. And the added door on the back was just added for like realism's sake, so I could kind of just pretend uh, that the giraffes would be brought in and out of the exhibit through that door. All right, so I'll let you relax and watch the rest of the building process and I'll be back at the end.
Okay, so I'm gonna leave you here with some footage of the shelter in action, in game, after it's completed. And remember, you can find it on the Steam Workshop if you want it. And also remember <laughs> that if you like what you see, then like the video, subscribe or both, and I'll see you next time. Bye.